All right, I'm going to show you some basic editing in the Arrange window. Uh, first thing uh, to teach you a little bit, uh, just in case you're not aware, is how to get tracks into the Arrange window. It's pretty easy to do, and there's a few different uh, approaches. So let me show you the most obvious way. Go into your browser here. Find your folder, and you can simply take that and drag it in and it'll either make a new track or you can place it on an audio track. That's the first way. Another fun way to approach it is uh, you could minimize this a little bit and you could actually drag from iTunes. Well, let me see if we can get that work in here. There we go and you can pull a song directly in from iTunes which makes it pretty easy and another way uh, there's a couple ways to do it from your session window you can either click here or click click your uh, your tab key to switch over and if you have a loop that's in your session window you could always take it just drag it over to the straight lines and drag your track in just like so and I'll pop that back there and the final way is if you were uh, in the session window playing live you could simply hit record and when you hit play here it'll actually record it into that track As you see up here, it's starting to record that track. And I'll hit stop. And if we click on over, you'll see that we've just recorded that on a track two. So th that's a few ways that you can get ideas from, well, actually get ideas into that window. Once you have it in the window, um, best way to work is to have your tracks warped so that they, uh, they are time matched to whatever tempo you're in. That's going to make editing, cutting, copying, pasting a lot easier because everything's going to going to line up with the beat. Um, next thing uh, important for you to know down here, always take a look at your resolution because any editing you're doing is going to be within these these little frames. And if you want to know how big these frames are, by looking down here, you can see this is one one. So this is one full bar takes up one frame here and if you wanted to get a little closer you could always just uh, see a little magnifying glass once you see it up there you just click on your left click mouse and drag down so we could get in to 1 16th for example and that right there would be 1 16th of a note so you can do quite a bit of editing now a lot of people are looking for a, uh, a scissors tool in order to cut their um, cut their file. Like let's say you wanted to cut it right here. You look for a scissor tool and you just can't see it. Well, it actually does have a tool that works like a scissor tool. Um, they call it splitting. So if you go to the edit window, you could drag all the way down here to split. And you'll see now it's made a, a a split right there at where the cursor was. Now I could go ahead and undo that and if you want a quick key to figure out how to split on the keyboard you just hit control E and you can make all the splits you want. Everywhere I click control E and it'll put a split there. But there's yet another way that you can uh, approach uh, editing and that's simply by left clicking and dragging to highlight whatever area you want to split and let's say I wanted to copy that once I've highlighted that all I do is I hit the control key then I left click on on this highlighted area and I drag and I've just made a copy of that section as easy as that now if I just want to move something, I could just highlight it and then drag it. 
and as you can see it moved it from here to here. Once again you can just highlight an area then left click on it and drag. If you hit control that will allow you to make a copy just like so. To remove something you just hit the delete key. So if I wanted to delete this area I just highlight it hit delete and that'll get rid of it. So that's your basic uh, copying and cutting and the, the copy, copy, cut and paste uh, you know you can also use your control, control C and control V and in that way you would just highlight your area that you want to copy then I hit, I'm hitting control C and then I put the cursor where I want to paste it so I'll put the cursor there then I'll hit control V and I can copy it in so you can do it that way also so that's a few ways that you can cut, cut copy and paste hope you enjoy editing